artificial intelligence is booming in Japan. Data centers, the backbone of this new era, are multiplying rapidly to power everything from generative AI tools to advanced digital services. But there's a catch. These centers consume massive amounts of electricity. The question is whether Japan's AI boom will accelerate the clean energy transition or risk locking the country deeper into fossil fuels. A single AI data center uses enough electricity to power 100,000 homes. By 2030, data centers worldwide could consume as much electricity as all of Japan today. Without a clear clean energy plan, this surge in demand could drive up electricity prices, put huge pressure on the grid, and extend the life of coal and gas plants. The warning from the United Nations is stark. Unless powered by 100% renewables, data centers could derail global decarbonization. Japan is determined to lead in AI. With more than 200 data centers, it already ranks in the world's top 10. Demand for AI infrastructure is expected to triple by 2030, while the generative AI market alone could add over 1 trillion US dollars to Japan's economy equal to around a quarter of GDP in 2022. But rapid growth brings real challenges. Most centers are built around Tokyo and Osaka, while Japan's biggest renewable resources are in Hokkaido and Kyushu. This mismatch between location and supply is already a major obstacle. To address this, the government launched the Wattbit collaboration in 2025. The plan aims to align AI growth with clean energy. In the short term, new data centers will be built near existing grid infrastructure. By 2030, large centers are meant to be co-located with renewable energy projects. And by the mid-2030, centers will be distributed nationwide, reducing pressure on urban grids and even linked to undersea cables to boost international competitiveness. It is a bold vision, but much depends on one detail, how Japan defines clean energy. In policy terms, that does not just mean solar and wind. It also includes fossil fuels fitted with carbon capture, LNG with CCS, and even ammonia or hydrogen co-firing. If these sources dominate, the AI boom could end up locking Japan into higher emissions and higher costs, undermining climate goals rather than advancing them. Yet if renewables are prioritized, Japan's AI revolution could be a genuine catalyst for change. It could speed up renewable deployment, modernize electricity grids, and create new industries and jobs. The future of Japan's AI boom and its climate impact will depend on decisions made today. Japan's AI data centers could become a clean energy catalyst, or they could become a climate risk. The choice is clear, and the time to act is now.